Well, this is a third video on this uh, particular type of radiant charger that I've made. And the reason I wanted to make this video is to show you that you could use this for a Tesla coil, or if you just want to play with a spark plug, if you're just experimenting with um, a spark, some people do that, you can use this circuit. Now one thing that's good is you don't need the 555 timer. So the circuit is very easy to build, and 555 timers go bad all the time. They're very sensitive to high voltage. You don't want a spark coil next to a 555 timer. So what this does is it gives you the reliability along with extreme simplicity. So if you just want to put something together and you enjoy building stuff, this is a lot easier than a 555 timer circuit. So it all depends on your preference, but I think this is a, a very useful circuit just for experimenting with high voltage. So I'll go ahead and show you running off this small 12 volt gel cell. And this is powered by a Toyota spark module. Oh, actually it's not the spark module, it's the the coil. And then the spark module is off a, a Volkswagen. So it's a Volkswagen spark module. This coil could be off any car. This just happens to be a Toyota coil. And I'll go ahead and show you the results here. So we're getting a very high frequency, very high voltage spark. And the reason that it works so well is because of this module and because of this circuit, they work very, very well together. And the power draw is very low. And if you want to adjust the frequency, you just change out a capacitor. So you actually remove this capacitor here. This is just some capacitors uh, lumped together. And so what you could do is you could have a, a, a three-way switch and you could just change between different capacitors for you know low, medium, and high power. And the faster the frequency goes, the less power you get. And that's because less power is able to flow through a DC coil when you pulse it very quickly. You cannot flow as much current through it. So I'll show you as we increase the frequency, which I just did by removing one of the capacitors. Now if we watch the spark, you have to close the spark gap slightly. <laughs> 